Hi everybody, it's Miss Elizondo, and this video is to help you update your science notebook for 2.1. That means it's reporting period two, week one, or second six weeks, week one. So let me share with you my science notebook. I'm gonna be using my fourth period science notebook. So you can double check to make sure are you on the right track? Do you have everything that you need for week one of the second reporting period? 2.1, we call it. So if I open up my notebook, you'll see that I'm following the syllabus, okay? So I'm looking at the science syllabus, reporting period two, week one. Now you should have your syllabus already because you picked up your math Sharon Wells packet for Mr. Salinas's math class. Okay, on the back of that packet, you should have all of your syllabi for science, reading, math. Okay, so I am looking at the syllabus for science. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So today is Wednesday and you notice that I wrote in set up science lab data table. Okay, so I have lots of things already in the science notebook. So by Thursday, you should have all the data inside your notebook. So let's look at what you should have for week 2.1 in your science notebook. Second reporting period, week one. Okay, so this is what you should have for the very first page, you should have forms of energy. So this week we're learning about forms of energies. There's different types of energies. We have mechanical energy. So I drew a bike. I drew a gear that's turning. Okay. Because in the bike, you have wheels that turn, the chain that turns, you push down on the pedal, you turn or move your handlebars on your bike. So this is energy of movement. You spin, turn, or move something. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one is electrical. Okay, it's another form of energy. This time it is energy that comes from electric current or electrons. For example, your battery or your cell phone is electrical because you have to charge it. Okay, so another form of energy is light. So we get light from the sun or we can get light from a light bulb. Okay, but the light bulb has to be connected. It has to have some source from the wall or from a battery. Okay, so it needs to have some source for it to turn on. And you need to have a little switch for it to turn off and on. So the light energy is an energy that travels through space and you can see it, it's visible. Okay, the next form of energy is thermal. And this is a fancy science word for heat energy. Okay, so I drew a little campfire. So you can't go wrong, a campfire is hot. And the last form of energy is sound. So I drew a drum with uh, drumsticks, sound waves, energy you can hear and travels in waves. So you have one, two, three, four, five forms of energy. And this is the very first page of your week 2.1 in your science notebook. So if I'm going too fast, remember you can pause this video and go back to where you need to go and then you can forward it to where so you can finish. Okay, so I have this page all the way down to the end. Okay, so if you're wondering how did they all fit, I just skipped one, two, three, four, five lines. Okay, how did I get this vertical line? The same way I always do is when I fold my page in half and I get a nice vertical line, I just trace on it and I trace the lines going horizontally or across. So now let's look at the second page for week 2.1. So I have energy, the ability to change matter. Okay, so this is the definition for energy. I made it my title because in your syllabus, you have 13 vocabulary words and you only did five on the previous page. So here are the rest of the words. Okay, so you have energy and your title is the definition. Energy, able to change 
matter or ability to change matter. And that's what I wrote here. That's the definition. And I drew a battery. Kinetic. When you're on a roller coaster, you're moving, you're moving. That's kinetic. And then when you go down the hill, that's kinetic because you're moving. You're, it's an energy of movement. Heat. That is thermal energy. I drew that campfire again. Conduction. It's when you have the transfer of energy from one thing to another between particles. For example, I drew myself, look at the curly hair, and I have a really bad bump on my head, okay? So if I have a really bad bump on my head, usually your mom or your dad puts like ice, an ice pack on your head. So if you're putting ice, that's really cold, and you're putting it onto your head, which is 98.5 degrees Fahrenheit hot, you're coming into contact. So you have very still particles that are cold. They're not moving a lot, plus the particles that are really hot on your head, and they're coming into contact. Okay, and you're transferring that energy onto your head and the ice melts. Okay, so those particles are changing because of temperature and you're transferring it through conduction, okay? Temperature, I drew a thermometer because you can measure temperature with a thermometer with degree Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. Nowadays, we have the digital thermometer, so they just scan your forehead from a distance and you can get a temperature reading, okay? It's, they're trying to see how hot or how cold you are, but mainly how hot because they're looking for a fever, right? So the next word is solar radiation. Solar, solar, comes from sol or sun. So I drew the sun. And then radiation in green, I drew those waves because that's a transfer of energy from the sun in waves. Okay? And I drew the waves over here. Convection. This is supposed to be a lava lamp. Okay? It's not a fish standing up. It's a lava lamp. And it is electric, so I have to plug it in. So convection is when you heat up liquid or gas, in this case, the lava lamp, the lamp gets pretty hot, okay? But when it gets hot, you see the liquid moving through the lava lamp. It's really satisfying to see, right? And then you have different colors coming out. So the reason why there's movement is because there's heat, okay? So when you transfer the energy to liquid or gas, you're making the water less dense, okay? You're making the water rise. So that is convection. Radiation, kind of like solar radiation, but you're not getting it from the sun. You're getting it like from other things like your microwave, okay? So that's a microwave that's electric, okay? So it is a transfer of energy in waves, okay? Not from the sun, but like from machineries and stuff like that. Sometimes it's from natural rock. And then that's the end of your 13 vocabulary words, okay? So radiation is the last word. Then you see brain pop, okay? Brain pop. So I wrote the word brain and pop because we went through brain pop and we saw the video in class called Forms of Energy. So if you have access to brain pop, the username is Eisenhower120, and the password is Eisenhower120, okay? Once you get into Brain Pop and you type in forms of energy, you're going to get a video. And this is what we did in class. We wrote down notes about the video. What did the video teach you? Well, the video taught me about motion. The video taught me about kinetic, which is also motion. The video taught me about potential energy. That, that means it's not moving. But once it starts moving, it's kinetic. The video taught me about chemical energy. So when I eat an apple, I'm getting, I'm changing that apple into chemical energy when I eat it. Yes, you are. I know that there's electrical energy and I know that the sun provides a lot of light energy. That's our main source of light energy. Okay, so this is what I have for the second page for week 2.1. So I'm going to go to the next page. This is our science lab experiment set up. Okay, we set it up today so that on Thursday we're ready to record our results inside. Okay, so we haven't done the experiment yet. This is just a setup. So I put my title Melts Lab. 
Okay. And then how did I get these evenly uh, measured columns and rows? What I did is I fold my page in half and then I fold my page in half again. So when I unfold it, I should have nice vertical folds. I just traced on the fold with a red marker all the way down. Okay, and I traced the middle fold all the way down and I traced it all the way down. Then I created my subtitles, energy forms, car, ball, flashlight. I skipped two lines and drew my horizontal line. Then I'm gonna test the car, I'm gonna test the ball and test the flashlight according to the energy type or the form. So the first one is for mechanical. Is the car mechanical? Is the ball mechanical? Is the flashlight mechanical? Okay, we're gonna find that out tomorrow. So is the car electrical? Is the ball electrical? Is the flashlight electrical? How about is the car producing light? Is a ball producing light or is a flashlight producing light? Okay, the next one is thermal. Is the car producing heat or something hot? Is the ball producing something hot or the flashlight? Also sound, is a car producing sound? Is a ball producing sound and the flashlight? So when you're finished with that, especially at the end of your experiment tomorrow, you're gonna analyze the information you recorded in this data table. So I'm gonna record three things that I learned through my science experiment, okay? So this is my data table. And of course, every time you do a science lab experiment, you're gonna have to write about it. And your results from your experiment are gonna help you write your paragraph. So this is your lab report based on your lab that's right in the next page. Okay, so the only thing is you have to include the vocabulary words within your lab report, within your paragraph. So you're gonna have to use the word mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, and sound in your paragraph once you have finished or completed your science experiment. Okay, so let's go back to see what you should have. For week 2.1, forms of energy, and you have melts all the way down. Second page, we continued with our vocabulary words. And then we saw the brain pop video on forms of energy. And we wrote down notes. I wrote down six pieces or six notes. Turn the page, and I have my science lab set up. Okay, all the way down. Don't forget that we still need to analyze. And on the left side, I have the space for my lab report. So I hope this helps you with setting up your lab or keeping your notebook up to date. Okay, so this is for week 2.1, second reporting period, week one. Thank you.